All right guys, so today we're going to be discussing my five favorite bags for fall from my collection. Interested to see what I pick? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. So my name's Caleb. If you're new around here and you haven't stopped by yet, welcome. On here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, fashion, reviews, reveals, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on my channel. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and say hi down in the comments. I love interacting with all of you. And if you haven't already, check me out over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Now, today we're going to be discussing fall bags. Fall is my favorite season. I love the cooler weather, the sweaters. I'm accessorizing with some new Gucci pieces today. I am here for it. I even have my PSL. So. If you don't already have yours, get it handy because today we're just gonna get in a fall mood and just discuss autumn and uh, apple festivals, leaves changing, hot apple cider, spiked hot apple cider. Love that. Like I said, we're gonna be discussing my five favorite bags from my collection. Now these are all a little bit older, so you're not gonna find these in stores, but it is what it is. For those of you who know me and have been around for a while, you know that I am obsessed, obsessed with Balenciaga. I just did a huge double reveal last week. I have a new reveal today, a small one, but I have a new one today. So for the first bag for fall, you've probably already guessed, I am using the Carbon Brief. I just switched to this today because I got a new small item on the inside. And I tell you what, this bag got some compliments today at the office. Of all the bags that I carry, my oldest and most beat up bag got the most compliments. So I don't know, do with that information what you will. and. Uh, this one is, so it's from 2009. This is the Carbon Leather, and it's just kind of like a cool ash tone, um, grayish brown. Perfect for fall. This is going to look good with so many outfits. I mean, it looks pretty decent with this one. It's a big brown sweater. You can't go wrong with that. So let me reveal what I got. I was perusing eBay, which is dangerous. I needed a quick fix, and I picked up a new wallet. <laughs> So this one is the 2006 Camel. It's the Compagnon wallet. And for being, what, 15, 16 years old, doesn't look that bad. And look at how good this complements my carbon brief. This is my favorite style of wallet. I absolutely love kind of the yen style wallet where you can open it up and boom, there's all your cards at a glance. I mean, hello, convenient. Those little fiddly accordion ones that like barely open. No, I'm not about all that. Show me my cards at a glance. Let me get to my cash, get to my coins if I have it. Boom, throw in some receipts, done. And you guys, the greatest part about the Compagnon wallet from Balenciaga, this easily can fit your iPhone Pro Max, whatever year you have, right in there, zip it up, run into the store, and you have everything you need. Like I said, it perfectly complements my carbon brief. I mean, this bag is stunning. $245 on Fashion File. It's a little rough, don't get me wrong. If you wanna see my full reveal and review, link is down below, but, that is bag number one and a new reveal. So speaking of reveals, let me run this by you guys. So I recently took advantage of the Balenci or Balenciaga, God, I have a problem, the Fashion File sale from this past weekend, and I ordered a new Fendi bag. I'm so excited. This is gonna be my first piece from Fendi, so I'm a little, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it, it's iconic. Let me know down in the comments what you think it is. I already told one of you, so try not to give it away, but I have a very, 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 very exciting, huge reveal coming for my birthday. So also from Fashion File, it's an older discontinued piece from LV. If you follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, I posted a questionnaire last week to see if anyone could guess it. A lot of you said Speedy, which I mean, I would love a multicolor Speedy, don't get me wrong, but it's not that, it's something else from the multicolor collection. So I was thinking, I was talking about this with Zane, since this is such a big milestone bag for me. I think it's going to be the 32nd bag in my collection. I don't know. I have, to, I have to take inventory. I was wondering if you guys would be interested in doing a live reveal with me. So if you would all be into doing a live reveal with me with like a chat down in the bottom and just like an honest live reveal and a review on um, fashion file in the bag itself, let me know down in the comments. I would be interested in doing that with you guys, but if that's not something y'all want to do, totally cool. I'll just film a video, but let me know. All right, so the next bag that I am excited to use for fall and shame on me, haven't yet. You guys, I waited years for this piece. The Burberry Porsome Foxhead Clutch. <laughs> 
Every time I walk through my closet and I see this in the case, I'm blown away that I, I honestly own this. So when I was in college, I mean, I already shared this story in the Burberry reveal, but when I was in college, I wanted this collection so bad, just anything from this collection. I mean, heck, I would have even been okay with one of the t-shirts. I don't know. This bag, specifically the Fox, was high on my list. At the time, being a college student, I couldn't drop. I think it was 2,950 back in 2013, 2012. Um, that was an astronomical amount for me at the time. So finding this later on in such good condition at such a great price, I think this was a fashion file find. I am still beside myself. Quilted Napa leather. This just gives me like down an abbey, hunting party weekend vibes, and I am here for it. It has beautiful suede trim. Like this gold hardware is perfect for fall. It can fit your phone. It can fit a full-size wallet. I think my Taiga and Apicia green looks really good with this. There's a cute little phone pouch in there. If only it was still 2013 and phones were this big. But, oh my gosh, you guys. I have been waiting months to carry this bag. When did I reveal this? I don't know. This year's really flown. So I've waited about six months to carry this. And now that it's fall, I mean, heck, even with this look, with the baggy sweater and the Gucci brooches, I think that's kind of a vibe. Bag number two, cannot wait to carry this this fall. Maybe I'll take it to work this week, I don't know. Okay, so keeping in line with fall themes and colors, the next bag that I'm going to be using a lot this fall. Ooh, let's have a sip. Oh my God, that's so good. I love PSL season, hashtag basic. So my next bag that I would choose for fall is going to be this Gucci clutch. So this I believe is from the men's collection. I think this was maybe Cruise 2020, 2019, I think 2020. Maybe autumn winter. I don't know. It was it was from some point in the last two years. This bag actually didn't hit the runway. They had a version that was like red and um, I think it had like the Gucci monogram on there. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. So I haven't used it much. I, I used it a lot this fall and very early summer, um, but I haven't switched into it yet. So I'm going to do that probably this week. I don't know. I've been having just such an affair with Balenciaga, but um, <laughs> I need to show some other of my bags some attention. Anyway, this bag is perfect. It has a beautiful more fall lining in there. The slip pocket is super convenient. It's just a magnetic closure. Just a simple brown leather bag. This just kind of reminds me of like fall leaves, candy apples, hot apple cider, just all the fall vibes, all the fall goodies. So this is going to be number three for my fall picks. All right, so we have some black, we have some brown. Let's throw in a bright color. So if you know me, you already know this is going to be Balenciaga. I mean, duh. I carried this all this week before I switched into this one today. And that would be my envelope clutch in raisin. I believe this is a 2009 color with the giant covered hardware with the brogue details. This bag is perfect for fall. I don't know what it is about like rich shades of purple and fall. It's just like the perfect combo. It goes well with everything. You could wear it with tan. You could wear it with black. You can wear it with dark green. It's just like the perfect fall color, especially this rich shade of raisin. Now, a lot of times these richer Balenciaga colors will fade. So if you have it in your car seat, make sure it's not in the sun. I kind of had to throw a, I think a sweatshirt over it when Zane and I were out running errands on Monday. And if it's in your closet and you have a window or a light in there, make sure to just keep it in its dust bag. I keep all of my, my richer shade Balenciagas in dust bags. Well, I keep all my Balenciagas in dust bags just so that way they don't fade because that's a common problem. The way you can tell if a bag is faded from Balenciaga, all you have to do is open the zipper and then compare it to the the leather inside. There's usually a leather strip right here. And as you can tell, mine is perfect. This bag is absolutely fabulous. I still need to do an in-depth review on the Balenciaga envelope flaps. Much to my chagrin, these do not get as many views as I would like them to get. People have seemed to have forgotten about Balenciaga Moto styles, but hey, more for me. Better price point in the resale market. I'm here for it. And this is going to be bag number four. I mean, God, look at it. It's such mm, rich leather. And I love the covered hardware. Also, be very careful with your covered hardware. Don't let it like smash into anything because eventually it will break through. Uh, I don't have any breakthroughs on mine. Well, knock on wood. Fashion File, I think, currently has a giant covered hardware in black on the website. I mean, I did just order my birthday bag in the Fendi, so maybe I should pump the brakes. But if you can pick one of these up at a good price, do it. I highly recommend it. I do know that there's a work, I think, in Raisin with the giant covered hardware online right now. Someone better beat me to it. <laughs> That's four bags. So we have Balenciaga, 
my, my favorite. Burberry, Gucci. So I thought, you know, I was thinking about this. I'm like, okay, well, Louis Vuitton monogram with the golds and, the, and the, the dark browns. I mean, it looks nice for fall, but I think LV monogram is just like an all year round kind of look. So I didn't want to do that. And then I was like, well, you know, I could do another bag that's, you know, black maybe. Eh, boring. Uh, I didn't want to do another leather bag because I think also when it comes to fall with all like the, the warm snuggly sweaters and the crunchy leaves, I think of textures, interesting materials, things like that. So for the final bag, I chose my YSL Uptown Pouch in the canvas. I love this bag. It always gets tons of compliments when I carry it out. I think the last time I used it was when we did our little um, shopping trip in Chicago. I wore this with like a linen shirt and some gold necklaces from Ben Amun. And like I said, this bag always gets compliments. Now, the regular sized Uptown pouch, it's really not that big. You can literally get your phone in there and then a smaller compact card case, you know, standing up. That's about it. But with this canvas, as you can tell, it, it really does soften. Even after like one use, it's this soft, whereas before I, it wasn't. So I'm sure with a little bit more use, it'll, it'll eventually like stretch out some more and, and I can get a little bit more in there. These are such a great price point, And I think these just came back in stock on YSL's website. If you're looking for this spectator style with the tan trim, and I think they also released it with a lighter trim, kind of on my radar, kind of not. I already have it in one color. You can tell when I really love a bag, I buy it in a ton of colors. Anyway, my favorite part with the YSL Uptown pouch, you can easily dress it up. You can wear it to weddings, events, the theater, and it's gonna look great. I have some beautiful velvet jackets from Gucci. Again, if you guys want my uh, runway and ready to wear collection video, let me know down in the comments because I can, I can do that. I have a gold velvet smoking jacket from Gucci. This looks absolutely amazing with. Another great thing too, I know the Uptown pouch originally comes from the Uptown tote where it just kind of sits in the front and kind of like a grab and go situation. If you just want to leave the tote in your car, pull out the pouch, you can go. This also makes a great bag organizer. So if you have like a larger bag and you just want to like throw some like papers in there or seats, and just throw it down in your bag. You could do that. The Uptown Pouch, it's versatile. It's a great price point. So if you can, snag one. I have a full reveal and review on, on these on my channel. I'll link it down below. All right, guys. So those are my fall favorites from my collection. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Do you want me to do more seasons? Maybe do this monthly? That'd be a lot of bags. I switch a lot throughout the week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sitting through this video. I hope you're all ready for fall and all the fun things that come with it in spooky season. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.